Hello, okay, today here we go. We are going to do a slow cooker recipe. Now, honestly, for me, slow cooker recipes, I have not had a lot of luck with. I feel like everything just turns to mush and it all tastes the same. Well, we found this one recipe from Dishing Out Health, and I will put the link in our comments, but Dishing Out Health has a vegan slow cooker tikka masala and it is phenomenal so it's super easy you know i love the idea of slow cookers because you throw it all in the pot you go to work and then it's done and ready for dinner when you come home so 10 minutes of prep and this recipe today makes about six servings so you're going to have a little bit of leftovers possibly for some lunches or another dinner another night it starts with four cups of cauliflower florets so that's like a medium sized head of cauliflower. Chop it up, three cups of potatoes, which I've already chopped everything up just to keep our video short and sweet. Three cups of potatoes, it's about two medium sized potatoes. Here to mix it up, sometimes I use the russet potato, Yukon gold potato, and or a sweet potato just to change it up every now and then. That's something you can do. Two large carrots, I have four medium sized carrots. I mean, you can't over, overdo it on carrots right so four carrots peeled and then we're gonna slice those I've also got half a yellow onion in here and four cloves of garlic so either lower your garlic a little bit if you're not a fan of garlic or if you've got some meetings or if you don't want people to sit near you go with the four cloves of garlic so you've got your garlic press and you get your garlic out there you're gonna pour everything all together into our slow cooker I'm just getting rid of I just love garlic so I'm doing four cloves of garlic I'm gonna try and get it all into my slow cooker pot again this is six servings this recipe so you are gonna have some leftovers which is so delicious and you know the cauliflower as we we're all talking about like eating in color and eat the rainbow the color white often gets um, gets overlooked but there is a ton of health benefits for the white vegetable as well so our cauliflower it has flavonoids in it which of course helps to reduce our risk of cancer so eat the rainbow including the color white is basically what the moral of the story is all right where am i at i've got all of my cauliflower my onions my potatoes in there today i'm going to slice up my carrots and get those in there um the other thing then is your liquids that are going in. It is three cups of vegetable broth. And you know I use an Epicure, the Epicure vegetable broth, and then I boil my water and you've got that. But whatever vegetable broth you've got will work. It's clumped, I should have stirred it. There we go. It calls for a couple tablespoons of tomato paste and that's just to make sure it stays thick. So two tablespoons of your tomato paste, give or take. I am a recipe follower. I do not go too far off the recipe. Uh, it doesn't work for me. I, I like instructions and that's what I do. And then one 15 ounce can of crushed tomatoes going on in there. That crushed tomatoes, just um, the spices that we're going to use give it enough spice, so I just use our plain crushed tomatoes. Some of them come with spices already in them. If you want extra herbs and spices in there, you absolutely can do that. So get that all that, scoop all of that crushed tomato out, out into your, I need a cloth, out into your slow cooker. And then I've got my carrots going in there. For spices, it, is, it calls for two tablespoons of a garam masala. Um, I prefer chana masala. I don't know. It's got a nicer, softer flavor. The garam masala for me and my family is just a little too spicy. So I'm quickly chopping here. Might just end it. This would be good. There we go. Sliced carrots going in. Watch your fingers. Here's what I'm talking about. So here in Alberta, Chana Masala, I get this in the international aisle at superstores. It is fantastic and they have a whole bunch of different flavors. But two tablespoons, two tablespoons of your Garam Masala or your Chana Masala. So in that's gonna go. Then we've got one teaspoon of paprika and we've got three quarters of a teaspoon of ground ginger. So do it. Do what you want there um, one teaspoon 
three quarters of ginger. I would probably just do, you know, three quarters or one teaspoon. It doesn't hurt, I don't think. And then a teaspoon of your salt. So a couple of things there. You're gonna take your slow cooker. You're gonna put turn it on to low for eight hours. And then after the eight hours, like when you come home and it's dinner time, we're gonna cook some bas basmati rice. We are going to add at the end of it, a can of coconut milk and three quarters of a cup of thawed peas if they are frozen. We're gonna throw those in for a little bit of greenness and then serve it and sprinkle on some fresh cilantro. So once you've got everything in your slow cooker, I can't help it, I want more carrots. And then I'm gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna put it in the slow cooker, turning it on to low. I'm gonna let it cook as I go about my day and we'll be back here for dinner time. How was your day? Okay, crock pot has been on all day, eight hours on low or four to six hours on high, and now it's dinner time. I have added my can of coconut milk. I have added three quarters of cups of peas thawed. Now I'm going to serve it up for me and my husband. I like to add in some greens, like some kale or spinach at the bottom, just to get that extra the extra green in there. You can do that, it's optional, but I do a bed of spinach and then I'm putting my rice down, a couple scoops of your rice, and then I'm putting my slow cooker vegan tikka masala, I'll just do mine for now, my slow cooker vegan tikka masala for dinner tonight. Quite hot. I think today mine's a little bit extra soupy. I maybe should have added more potatoes or less broth, but you've got your fresh cilantro, sprinkle it on, and then we have our tikka masala. Have an awesome evening. I hope you enjoy. Let me know.